I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. Apple's fantastic WWDC keynote gave us a look at a bunch of the major features coming to iOS 14 in the fall. But like every year, there's more to the update than Apple can fit into a keynote. In this video, I'll be telling you about some of the best iOS 14 features that Apple left out. These are the features we had to find ourselves after using the iOS 14 beta on the iPhone and the iPad. Now, although this is a list of 10 hidden features that Apple didn't tell you about, be sure to stay till the end because I have a few bonus features that you'll wanna know about as well. Let's get started with one really cool one, hand and body pose detection. If you're a gamer and you're familiar with the Microsoft Connect for the Xbox, that's kind of what this is, but built in to your iPhone. Hand and body pose detection will allow apps to analyze poses, movements, and gestures of people. For example, a fitness app could automatically track your movements to see if you're doing an exercise properly, or a media app could find photos or videos based on a certain pose. Hand pose detection is also included here, which will allow new ways of interacting with apps. Apple demonstrated this in a WWDC session by showing an app that recognizes when a person holds their thumb and index finger together, which then let them draw in the app without needing to touch the display. Another example is an app that can overlay hand emoji or other graphics that match what a user is doing, like giving a peace sign. The next feature we need to talk about is actually a nice segue from hand and body pose detection, and that's FaceTime sign language recognition. So you know how FaceTime or other video chat apps for that matter will bring the person who's talking to the forefront so everyone can see them? Well, in a huge move for accessibility, FaceTime will do the same thing when a person on a group call is signing in American Sign Language, even if they aren't audibly speaking. Next up, let's talk about optimized AirPods charging. Similar to the optimized iPhone charging feature that was introduced in iOS 13 last year, iOS 14 will do the same for the AirPods. The way it works is simple. If you have the feature enabled, Apple will learn your charging routine. When you charge your AirPods overnight, they'll charge up to 80%, and then we'll wait to finish the charge to 100% until closer to the time where you typically take them off the charger. This charging method does a great job at slowing battery aging, allowing your devices to last longer before the batteries end up going bad. By the way, if you missed it, I did do a video dedicated to all the new features that are coming to AirPods and AirPods Pro in iOS 14. Be sure to check that one out up here if you haven't seen it yet and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos as we make the journey to iOS 14. Up next, Apple TV 4K and iOS will stream 4K YouTube videos. One of the biggest disappointments for purchasers of the Apple TV 4K set-top box is that despite the name, the one major holdout on streaming 4K content on the device was YouTube, the largest video streaming platform on the planet. Instead, Apple TV 4K owners were stuck with 1080p from YouTube. It's unclear if the change that is now allowing the Apple TV 4K to stream YouTube content is a result of YouTube adapting to the Apple TV or Apple adding something extra on their end, but the end result is that consumers will get access to YouTube videos in 4K and HDR when streaming through Apple's set-top box. Oh, and as a bonus, AirPlay 2 on Apple TV also supports 4K streaming in iOS 14 as well. Next up, let's talk about Back Tap. This is the new fantastically named feature in iOS 14 that specifically works with any device that supports Face ID. Back Tap is a feature that you can enable that will allow you to perform common tasks by double and triple tapping on the back of your phone. You can set these to do things like take a screenshot or bring up notification center, Siri or the app switcher, change your volume or even run a shortcut. For me, I have double tap set to take a screenshot and I have triple tap set to run a shortcut that will turn on my Tesla Model Y and set the temperature to 70 degrees. 
All right, speaking of cars and vehicles, next let's talk about Apple Car Key, or more specifically, how Car Key will work when your phone dies. At WWDC, Apple announced a new Car Key functionality, which will allow you to use your iPhone as your key to unlock your doors and start your car. Since then, people have been wondering what happens if you drive somewhere, you're out for the day, and your phone dies before you get back to your car. Well, I asked Apple and it turns out that even if your iPhone runs out of battery, car key will still work and function for an additional five hours after that. So if you're out and your phone dies, just be sure you're back at the vehicle before that five hour window closes if you aren't able to charge up somewhere else. Up next, an interesting one for all you gamers out there. In iOS 14, iPad games will be getting support for keyboards, trackpads, and mice. That's right, you'll no longer be limited to either a Bluetooth controller or touchscreen controls when playing games on the iPad. So if you wanna connect a keyboard and mouse when getting in on Fortnite or Call of Duty, Apple's got you covered on the iPad. Now apparently this will not work with an iPhone, but using a keyboard and mouse on an iPhone is probably a waste of resources since not many people are gonna do that anyway. Next up, let's talk about the HomePod third-party music streaming. One of the main complaints that people have had with the HomePod is that it only worked with Apple Music natively unless you used AirPlay to stream to it. With iOS 14, the HomePod will support third-party music streaming services as well, allowing you to use services like Spotify, Tidal, and others. And at that point, it will be up to the third-party services to update their apps in order to add HomePod support. This means you'll be able to pick up Apple's smart speaker, ask it to play a song, album, or playlist, and that music will play from any third-party music service supported by the HomePod. Another one of the biggest complaints on iOS is that you were stuck with the Apple Mail app and Safari as your default email and web browsers. You can download alternatives, but any link or email address you tapped on would always result in mail or Safari opening. With iOS 14, Apple is now letting you change the default email and web browser apps. So if you want email links to open Gmail, Outlook, or Hey, you can do that. If you want web links to open Chrome, Firefox, or Edge, you can do that as well. Next on the list, I have to talk about emoji search. In iOS 14, Apple has system-wide emoji search built right into the keyboard. Now, whenever you switch over to the emoji keyboard, you can type what you're looking for in the search box rather than having to hunt for what you're looking for when you need to make a point that only the perfect emoji will help with. All right, those were my 10 features, but now let's jump into the lightning round. These are some of the bonus iOS 14 features that I mentioned earlier. First, sound notifications. You'll be able to go into accessibility settings and have your phone give you a notification when it hears something like a dog, a cat, running water, a person yelling, and more. Next, when you paste content from your clipboard, you'll get a pop-up that tells you which app the data was initially copied from. Over in the Maps app, you will now be able to see when you're approaching red light cameras as well as speed cameras. And lastly, now that the Apple Watch will support sleep tracking, which means you'll probably be charging it when you're in the shower or at your desk, in iOS 14, you'll get a notification on your phone letting you know when the Apple Watch has been fully charged. Now, as I mentioned, I have even more videos coming as we make our way to the iOS 14 public beta all the way through to the release of iOS 14 in the fall. Hit subscribe if you wanna stay up to date and I will catch you in the next video.